even four. How do you know it's an even four? Minus two, three seconds. Over that. Center is not covered. How many defensive alignment do you have? That means you have four. Okay. What are the four defensive alignment? There's an end. Yeah. What would the end be? Uh, right outside here. shoulder of the tackle. Okay. What's that called? That's the wait, like the technique. Yep. All right. That's a five. Okay. Next. Then you would have two tackles. Yep. One would be a nose, and then the other would be. What's a nose? He would be inside the guard. And what? Two eye. Right, then? The tackle would be in three. Then? I want to um, be, be inside it the would be tight end. Up. That would be the... Wait, inside the tight end? Yeah. That's a seven. So, okay. This right here is a base even point. You understand what I'm saying? Base even front. Okay, now. Under front. Okay, and under front. Right, it's very distinct. Three technique is weak side. Where's the three technique? On the left. Okay. And then you have a, a one technique, a five technique, and a nine technique. Who's that there? The stamp. Okay. This is an under front. The front is the strength. Who always tells you what the defense declares as a strength? Which defender? The outside defender? No. Three oh, the no. Oh, no. Three technique is where usually the front is it's called set, set the front. Oh. Wherever the three technique is, because this is your best defense time, so the front is set weak. How do you know the front is set weak? Because the tackle is set on the weak side. Correct. Okay, so it's set weak. So, so in the under front, in the under front, you have Three tech weak side one five nine strong. You stay that? Like yeah. Right, yeah like yes. Yeah. You have a play called Houston and Houston for defense under front means this. They're a they lot to change that front. What's the point of changing your front if you're even front? What's the even front mean? What do we mean? When there's nobody on the center. Correct. So when when the defense changes their front, what's the purpose of that? To strengthen it. Like to give them. To, to give them what? A better chance to defend it. Or, or to, to confuse the confuse the offense, right? Because now, you know, to this side here, before, you had a three and a what? What do we have? Five. No, we have a five. Oh, no, seven. Seven. Now we have what? A three and a nine. And we don't have All one, a three and a nine. Out of one. All five, five. Okay. It's dead. Now you have an overfront. An overfront. An overfront. It's three. 
one. Similar to the under because there's the tackles and the three technique and then the nose is a one. But the tackles in uh, even front is always the three technique. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't have an even front without a three technique. Can you understand that? Okay. This is not. Yeah. All right. So draw me. We'll see if it's still. Draw me down the front. Over. 
two gaps. Is that the two gaps now? Yeah. Right. Because we have a, a nine versus seven. We have a two i versus a what? One. Two gaps. Two differences. Okay. Make sense of it? Yeah. Now how is how how many differences are we under in the whole? One. One difference. Um, two. Two is two. The uh, one. Oh no. Yeah, the one on the east side. Not really. I mean, that is, but that's not. I mean, you can do that, but you're not saying the right thing. And then I'm going to say the three. Take it from our side. Oh, no. Weak side. Okay, so. Three technique is weak. Go ahead. And then the five technique strong. So five, five technique strong. Five technique strong. And then one technique strong. One technique strong. How many fronts are there? Four. Four fronts. Okay. How do you tap split six? Run off the middle. Yeah, what, what, what's the middle ball? There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. How do you know this? How do you know? How do you know this is split six? When there's two three techniques and no one head up the center. Correct. There's two three techniques and someone's head up the center. What's that called? That's a. Sure. That's 
stuff over there. Option. <coughs> You're reading the outside defender on the strong side, so you would leave him unblocked. So then the tackle would go up to the second level and block the mic. The, um, <coughs> the tackle goes to block. Oh no, that's bad. <coughs> so the end would go and block. Uh, of safety, then the tackle would go up to the end and block the mic, then the guard blocks the end, the center has the nose, then the guard goes up to the second level and he has the backside linebacker, and then the tackle has the end. Uh, no, I would have been here with a box right Sit. <coughs> receiver on and off. What's the problem with this motivation? Other than you're not allowed. Oh, eight. What is eight? Oh, no, seven. I know seven. So, is that either good? Yeah. What's the problem with this motivation? Um, one receiver wouldn't be eligible to work with the outside receiver. No. Correct. Oh, the closest receiver. Closest to receiver? The, to the um, line. Like the last man on the line. Yeah, so, so the number three would be a tight end would not be eligible. Oh. Okay. If you have two men on a line, the man closest to the ball is the one that's oh, not okay. eligible. That's what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Okay. So now, how would you make this formation to the point where everyone, <coughs> everyone can be used? The number one off the line. How many other line now? Six. Is that legal? Yes. No. How many other people are legal? Oh, seven. So what would you have to do? You'd put one of these two receivers on the line. Okay, do that. Now what? How many other line? Then 
you have seven? Okay. Now what happens now when you have seven? So I can't do that. Well, you go to just give me this time. Okay. Yeah, so then. Okay. Do you just go on receiver over here? Yeah, but I don't want that formation. I want the formation you told me. The number two would go on the line, and the number three and one would be on. Okay. So how does that help us? I'm not sure. What would happen if it was who's on the line? The tight end would be on the line. Correct. How many men do you have on the line when I have a tight end? When I have any receivers in the tight end? Five. Five. So you only need two guys on the line. How do, how, do, how do football teams do it? They use the other side of the field. Put these three guys over there. Oh, okay. Wow. So then it would be on and off and off. Yeah. And then they will be uh, hmm? eligible? They'll be eligible. Yeah, because the... And the tight end. No. Well, it's only if, the tight, if they're on the side of the tight end, right? Yeah. Alright. So that's seven men. Understand me? Yes. Okay. What's appeal technique? Appeal is when the outside defender is still rushing, but if he sees the running back release on a swing route, he would peel back and guard the receiver. Yeah. Now, uh, when, when you peel, does it have to, does it have to always be a blitzer? Who peels? So there's a blitz who, 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 who's who has to peel? Who's peeling? The uh, outside defender. That's right. That's how we think. So, okay. Now, okay. Show me 10 personnel. Fast. Wait, you said 10? 10. How many of the guys are left? Okay. So, four? Yeah. How many skill players do you need on every play? Five. Okay, we need another formation. That's from ten? Yep. That's good. What's the problem? Okay. What's the problem? Tell me the problem. Um, there was two men that were on the line scrimmage on the same side of the line. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? He wouldn't be able to. Okay. That, yeah, what number is that guy? Four. You just have to be off. So you can have two backs, right? No, this is ten personnel. Oh. Okay. It's probably that formation. There's only um, six rooms left. I need to be seven. So you're still going to make another formation. Oh, you just could move the running back out there? Sure. What else? You can. But if he could do more than one thing. Right, so, you got the guy here. 
erase this. This receiver, let's just say, let's just say the third receiver is A. He comes in the game, he starts there. Still time to push it out until the formation. You can put another receiver behind the quarterback. It's your X. It's in the formation. What would have to happen if you have three guys in the backfield? You have to have two receivers. Good. What for the battle? Like, you would have to, you can put one on each side. On each side. So or two to one side. Two to one side. You put two to one side. No, 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 because they would be, always have to have one on each side. On the line. On the line. That's good. Okay, so, you need seven minutes. How many skill players are you going to play? Five. Five. You understand? Yeah. Four missions are everyone. So, hang on, listen to me. Next week, we have a test, okay? Right. Next week, we have a test on everything. Right. Okay. That's in the video. I make the question off the, off the video. Everyone wrong? Okay, it's accountability. Okay. Right. Everyone. I want 100, 100%, not, not 95. Okay, so we're going to go from base front, even front, under front. Know what the split six is, know what the odd front is, the center is not covered. Not the nose is not covered, the center. What's an odd front? Wait, when the center is covered? The center is covered. Not the nose, the center is covered. You understand what I'm saying? That's all. On the test. Okay? Alright, now it's time to get ready for school. Very excited to see how this goes.